support. But for now, we are also going to just know that it, this does have a very interesting scaling system, different from Ultras League, if you're familiar with that. Uh, in this case, uh, the enemies are going to be scaled based upon the number of completed checks. However, your experience that you get for defeating enemies is only based on your progression, namely the uh, characters, espers, and dragons you defeated. That means it's very possible for the difficulty of the enemies you're fighting to scale much faster than the experience you get from them. So you do want to make sure you're keeping ahead of that scaling. And uh, your missed checks also can give you any number of really nice uh, rewards. Uh, but it is very fire themed. There's going to be a nice little uh, red coloring to all of our sprites here. And I'm not sure when exactly we're going to start. I'm going to actually go ahead and check the race room real quick to see where they're at. Uh, and in the meantime, yeah, I, I think there's also going to be another race at nine. Uh, I'm not sure about all the details for that one yet, uh, but definitely it's going to be a fun start to the week because there's I know there's also going to be more races coming later this week. So just give us one more minute. <laughs> Okay. All right, thanks for that. Uh, do we have any word on uh, gigs' uh, technical issues right now? Yeah, we do have him in the restream room, so I'm assuming there's just some technical issue that's preventing him from hearing us or communicating. We got to start. Yep, Dragon's Royals, that's a Yeti. Maybe not the best thing you see, but we do have Lock Saban. Let's we'll see what their skills Either. actually are. I didn't quite get a look at their status to see what their start is, but we do have Returner Camp start on Jesus' side, and uh, Bosch is going for a Narsh start. I imagine they'll probably cover each other tracks since these are some of the more treasure dense areas. And so during the initial looting phase, this is very standard. That is actually World of Ruin uh, because we see Lock unlocking the door. We did get some, some decent equipment, nothing. <laughs> And we are going to go ahead and check on that curse shield and see uh, if we can get that unlocked and turn into some uh, ultimate casting. Although he lock, yeah. Uh, but that was a 17 battle curse shield, so uh, that's going to be on the lock the longer side of this uh, picture for one, which I think is 11 to 20. I'm probably not inclined to, to try it at that, uh, just because there's a lot of these races where you may not even see that many battles, and trying to keep uh, one of your characters sort of out of contention, which is kind of what you have to do unless you have like a ribbon or something isn't really, you know, helpful for your progression. It's good reward at the end, but you're putting that character, like, just off the table for quite a while if you don't have some answer for the all the nasty status effects. Peace Ring can help for a bit of them, but not all of them. And even with the Ribbon, I think you still get condemned. Yes, with Riven, you still get condemned. Hi, welcome, Gig. Uh, oh. Glad you got those. Uh, oh, players uh, found uh, Gigantos. Yeah, glad you got the uh, technical stuff resolved, and uh, welcome to the comms.
Sorry, I can't hear anything um, in the voice chat, only in the Twitch stream. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll keep looking into that and see if we can get that uh, fixed some more. But in the meantime, we do see both of them taking out that Gigantus massive experience. Good way to start your getting ahead of scaling. For sure, you're always happy to see one of those in a monster in a box. That and Katana Soul. And if you have someone with steel, then pugs can be good. You can steal Minerva's off of them. Okay, we do have uh, taking that Yeti actually is. A and go to the Coliseum, that is one of the advantages of that starting Yeti, although this is more magic heavy, like I said, uh, you definitely can get that Coliseum uh, win fairly easily with the Yeti. Meanwhile, uh, Jesus the Frog is doing this, again, continuing with the standard looting of South Figaro. Uh, early, I don't hate early Coliseum, especially if I have a Yeti. I've done that, so no worries. And you can just copy the time from one of their screens, and probably, that'll be probably close enough for us. So, Bosch Nasty now, sh I believe, does have that uh, um, Dragoon kit for. I don't know if he's going to equip on anyone just yet, or if he's going to wait till he has like Edgar or Mog, who are, you know, can naturally equip spears. But we are seeing one of Saban's checks. Uh, this is also maybe another attempt to get some more uh, fights in to get ahead of scaling. But it is Imperial Camp. fight might not be great, but I think he'll get through it. Oh, yeah, he got through it. Um, I'm not sure if it's Ogor or one of the palace swaps that can randomly like turn your character into a zombie, but that'd be pretty nasty to get in the Coliseum. Yes, I would. Uh, uh, fortunately for the Coliseum, you can put a character right back in. Yeah, it's not like it's game over. It's just... Regardless game. of uh, if they're dead or zombied. We do have a character there. That is Cyan. Uh, sort of vanilla location for where you get him. We also see uh, Albrook uh, on uh, Jesus Frog side, still on the looting route, I think. Yeah, it's a nice uh, to see some divergence in flag sets where you're going to see like two players sort of go through slightly different strategies. So uh, Bosch Nancy has already decided to do checks while Jesus is still doing setup. And it's not yet apparent which one of those is going to pay off just yet, because it could be that Bosch ends up being unprepared for some later thing, or, you know, Jesus could just end up being behind if Bosch is able to stay ahead at from this point. Well, I mean, you got enough characters to split the party. The only thing you might not want to do is fight that dragon. 
but you also have lock already, so this you will get to check off of this. Yeah, I mean, I think the only downside is you might not want to be fighting the dragon at this uh, point. And so if you do want to hunt the dragon later, you'd have to come back and do this again. I, I didn't notice that he reset out the Jenga episodes, but he certainly hasn't been doing anything like that. It's been entirely looting and shopping as far as I can tell. Nice, Very nice. Did Jesus Frog already go through Turner's camp? Because I thought one of them did. Yeah, he hit that right away. Yeah, so chances are they both are going to have Illuminas then. Thunder Shield too. I don't think we're going to learn Thunder off of it, but it can be nice to absorb some of those Thunder hits from the enemies that do have Thunder access. And depending on if there's a dragon here, if it's Storm Dragon um, that's weak to Thunder, you can break the shield and maybe one-shot it at the low scaling. Yeah, so to, so Bosch Nasty is doing uh, some shopping now, and definitely good things to find there. Sleeping bags, Phoenix Downs, a uh, bunch of sta anti-status things. So there's points you get there. And yeah, as we see, um, Jesus Frog is not even bothering looking at the dragon with just two characters in the party at this point. If he has a Thunder Shield and it is Storm Dragon, maybe you can just solo it with that Storm Dragon throw or the uh, Thunder Shield break. That is not a character. Not what you want to see right here. That is an economizer. Might be useful later. Yeah, definitely if we can, especially if we, they decide to go. 17 rounds, but I don't think either of them have equipped the curse shield, so I don't think we're going to see that. It looks like Locke is going to be made into the jumper, possibly, because he did equip that partisan on him. Yeah. I didn't see if he equipped the, the relics from the uh, arena, or the Coliseum, I mean. And let's see what that is. 51,000. No thanks, I'll shop around a bit first. But that's a nice shop earrings if you need the magic power. So Bosch Nasty is sitting here fighting the pugs. Uh, unfortunately, they don't grant any experience. Do they grant uh, magic points? My understanding is the best thing for those is to try and steal stuff from them. Same. Uh, we might see at the end of this fight what uh, Bosch Nasty is going to get out of it. Yeah, and you see Jesus Frog just running once he sees that it's not the Katana Soul or something more useful. For sure. If if you had steel, maybe steal some Minervas off these pugs, but otherwise, get out of there. Yeah, there was nothing you got from doing that. Unfortunate. And it's also unfortunate it took Jesus for that long to get run from that fight. It was that was a long run. 
And again, we got Merchant, so this isn't a character. Maybe it's an Esper. That is Katana Soul. Well, in this case, it looks like he had the ability. To, I think that was Sketch. And he, yeah, so maybe even just knowing that you have Sketch on one of your characters makes that, you said, oh, okay, so that's a free Katana Soul fight. For sure. Free Katana Soul with the Sketch, lots of gold um, offering as well, can be used for Soul. And that was a poem. I mean, we, I don't think we've even checked what World of Balance price is, so that may be, check that verse too, and it might be cheaper. And you don't want to take it if it's dead, potentially, since the yeah. scaling does go on with checks. So we do know from uh, Oshinassi's that this is Bismarck, so they both are up at Bismarck. Uh, and uh, Jesus Frog still hasn't done Imperial Camp, so doesn't know Cyan is on the table. Saving so. is good. Oh, my bad. No, go ahead. I would say saving is good because he's got all those checks right next to each other. Um, but a lot of them are kind of tedious, like Imperial Camp, um, Baron Falls. I kind of like Phantom Train the best because you can easily check right at the beginning what you get out of it and then reset out if you don't like it. Okay, and that's like a three cent discount or something because that was 52,000 as opposed to 51,000 so you're going to be spending a lot either one but it also looks like it might not have been an esper it was it's a glowing stone i think oh he did say glowing stone i missed that and free earrings in world of balance uh self figaro it's a good find when i find earrings it's always after i visit the relic shop and buy a pair I think Jesus bought maybe three or four pairs. Black Dragon maybe feeling behind scaling at this point. Yep, and that's the effective use of uh, game mechanics, knowing that the Black Dragon is undead and vulnerable to life and revivify stuff. Yeah, it's just a sorry fight to have to fight a Black Dragon for your grind fight. Uh, Fossil Thing, I think, is better because it gives you a lot of gold, but neither one of them seem to give much experience. Yeah, and we do see Jesus Frog deciding to do Imperial Camp now, possibly, again, wanting to get ahead, but grinding while getting a check-in, and we do know that this will be Cyan. I call him Cryan, because I, <laughs> I kind of cry when I have to use him in my party. Has very high vigor. I'll give you that. And he opens up some of the nicer checks. His checks are pretty good, I'll say. Uh, and this flag set, not really um, as good, because you can get the... Uh, with Y Destroy, you can get the Zozo check for free without Cyan. There is still Dream, though, and Dream is can be pretty useful. Absolutely. And depending on the flag set, you get that eight sword text learned. Great if you have someone with sword text. Um, nice because you only have to fight two bosses for three checks rather than three or four as a Magitech factory.
Yeah, it's it's too good to have Sword Tech Seven right away and not have to wait until what is it level forty six when you finally get it. That's a long. Time. Putting the Aura Lance on Numaro. And his damage is just a sorry damage right now, but it's all he's got, I guess. It's always sad when you have to take out those multiple enemy encounters one by one. Yeah, I think Barsh is trying to sell enough to buy that uh, Thief Stone. That is what it looks like. Um, that should be enough right there. That's probably why he's doing it. For me, uh, you know, uh, there's a cat hood there in the um, armor shop. And sometimes I like to get a cat hood early and get a lot of gold for it, come back for the expensive things later. That mod one has fire three at times four. Great spell. And it's very fast. Not just powerful, but also fast. Yeah, that times four, there's quite a few things that can get you to that spell pretty quickly. I saw mute on Bismarck. Definitely good to have Mute for Magic Tier 2, Kefka fight. And we do see the Curse Shield going on Cyan. I wonder if he'll use that with the Economizer later when he gets Ultima. I mean, we have seen that before. Okay, we got Atma at the South Figaro Cave, which is where you normally fight Tunnel Armor, and that's... Is that Vanilla Piranhas? It sure is. That's one boss I don't like to see. But yeah, you can definitely see uh, Cyan having his uh, just time of his life there. He's dancing mad. Uh, Atma, I think, gives 50 magic points as well, so that'll be fire three right away. If not 50, it's 40, and uh, might not be enough. Or it will, yes. Yeah, if it's time four, you only need, like, 25 magic points to get it. So there's a good chance that you'll either get it or be very close to getting it after this fight. But it's definitely a nice tool to have in the old arsenal there. Also, that lock can use Blitz, so do you think we might try to get an experience egg on him to try and go for a bum rush? Okay, uh, Atma's down, but Cyan is also down. And as you mentioned, Knuckly, you can't bring the Curse Shield on Curse if he's taking a nap. And Body Slam from Yeti does that. Uh, I mean, I think if I'm in Bosch Nasty's spot right now, I might be considering Dream. And it looks like he is doing Doma Defense first, which is, you know, perfectly valid. Um, but I th the reason for that is, like, it's two bosses and a potential character, and it is off of Cyan, who is the most recent character. And as we know, Wolf's Collide likes... Uh, going deep along the routes instead of spreading them out most of the time. Yeah. 
and we do have Tritox, so that Fire 3 is going to be very helpful. Perfect timing. We have a World of Ruin Narsh on Jesus the Frog side. Is he looking to go back and get that Gigantos? Yeah, this is round two, and then possibly maybe even hit the Dragon Tritok and do Maru Chain. Sounds like some solid routing. Uh, just some Marvel shoes from Defense. Uh, don't tell the Schwans. <laughs> and I do not want to see Marvel shoes at a dead check. I'd rather have a pod bracelet than Marvel shoes. It's the same thing. Yeah, hopefully this isn't one of those seeds where the Marvel shoes come free with every box of Kefco brand cereal. Not that one of those. Well, I'm sure we all have. Now, I, I missed it. Is Bosch Nasty also in World of Ruin right now, or is this World of Bound Snarsh? Okay, so we're going to see Dragon and try talk at Fairless and probably Umaro's check since you're already up here, you might as well do it. Now, did they get a chance to peek that check in the World of Balance? I don't think any of them came up, and uh, it looks like Jesus Frog is skipping the Dragon for now and starting with try talk instead. Just a leader, okay. That's fine. Leader's good. Sometimes I'd rather see a leader later on when, when the bosses scale and get a lot more scary. Okay, how do you feel about this white dragon, though? Th didn't he have mute on an Esper? Yeah, uh, Bismarck has me. I don't know if any of them learned it, but uh, looks like jumping in Fire 3 made short work of it anyway. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. That Paladore had X Zona. I didn't see the other bonus, though. Too quick for me. Uh, just a Dragon Horn. We probably already got one of those. Upgrading to the Pearl Lance is probably a good choice. Cracking the Thunder Shield. And the White Dragon is down. And Bosch is going to go have that extremely difficult leader fight coming up. It's a tough one. Sometimes he might ask your character some questions. He, you know what? He can't. He can do that. And if uh, if Bosch had a, a curse shield on Cyan right now, maybe that's something you got to worry about. But he's not going that route. And Cyan blocks it anyway. So we got probably nearly simultaneous starts to the uh, Yet Great Yeti adventure. They're looking about on the same page right now. It is amazing how close the two of these guys are. I think they've done everything the same so far. I think the only real difference is I don't think Bosch has done... Um... I don't think Bosch has done, um, what is it, Phoenix Cave. That's right, he hasn't done that one. 
And that is a magic site. And uh, Jesus Frog has not done uh, Dome Defense. I mean, in general, I don't find this guy a particularly fun fight, no matter what. And we do see uh, the Spider-Man Yetis going at it. Now, Hayden is weak against fire, right? At least... Uh, uh, him and three of the kids, but there's one that absorbs it. There's one that absorbs every element, I think. Now, I'm not sure about that. I mean, it probably wouldn't absorb getting punched to the face, which is how I remember you usually have to deal with it. Yeah. And we're, while we're seeing simultaneous fights, it looks like Jesus Frog from having, you know, that um, uh, Cyan down, like with the curse shields, but having a much rougher time. Trouble. Yeah. Amaro is also a zombie. Oh, we got a Pearl Frog. I believe Hydon's weak to that as well. And he's going to go down. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Osaven's the only one who's going to get any experience off of this fight, though. Well, it was not bad to have solo experience on your uh, Illumina world here. I mean, it's better to get through with one character up than with no characters up. Uh, that, too. And just using the free revive to get back on his feet there perfectly logical sense there, and I think we're about to see Doma Dream. Doma Dream, yeah, coming in for both. Uh, funny story. I guess you can dodge the would you like to rest trigger by stepping to the right. And I have done that I don't know how many times and it's face palm. Okay, what do we got at the stooges? Dabbing Yeti, okay. Fire three coming in handy yet again. does not have the same tools yeah i think the curse shield is just not going to be of very much use in this I mean, if you want to really cheese it, we know that there's those uh, Doom Dragons outside of to Zen and just buy like 17 Phoenix Downs and do it that way. It's probably time consuming and it's, you know, obviously going to be a bit more random. But, you know, if you're just trying to get that thing in curse, that is a way. And there's our experience egg. Can I take credit for that one or not? I'm going to take credit for that one then. But yeah, we're going to like possibly get that, that experience egg on some, like possibly lock, I guess, to, to maybe do 
uh, get them to 42 for bum rush as quick as possible. That would be a very useful tool to have if we're not using it for something else. And that's just an imp. So no character here, unfortunately. Yeah, so we'll be able to hit things for days. And is the difference in their Esper account due to Doma defense? Say going on saving. Okay, maybe you just wanted to get that damage output higher. Guys, if saving is going to be our Illumina wielder. Oh, he has a dragon horn too. Jumper jumpers, do we have Palador? We did get Palador. Good use of Dragonhorn. That's and we do have a multicast. That's right. That's right, I forgot that. So multicast Popa. Palador. Dragonhorn. Give me one second. My bad. That's beautiful. All those jumpers coming down. Just hate how much health this guy has. Dude's still alive. How do you say this name? I'm gonna go with that then. Well, Jesus the Frog gets the Frog Frog off of the Lumina as well. Now, I read somewhere this Lumina Pearl Proc is a crit? No, it's Magicite, the Hamet. That's good with multicast. I apologize for that. I think it's my turn to have some technical difficulties that I completely restart Discord. Back. Yeah, that is always the fear. Okay, Fumbaba is down, uh, and I missed the first time around, but what is the reward from this? That's right, Bahamut, and we got Phantom on the throne. Okay, so that's a pretty nice... Uh, uh, kid out there to get your Esper count up. As you said, hard to be disappointed with Doma Dream.
I've forgotten the throne. Puexel's forgotten the throne. Okay, our second dragon of the night, it looks like. And that's a blue one. We don't have any thunders to throw it at it, unless uh, we still have to have a thunder shield. But we do have Bahamut, and we can just throw Bahamut at it several times, I guess. It looks like we're actually doing pretty decent damage anyway. Uh, here's the Doma defense. We know this isn't going to pay off. Now, if you're trying to do for damage, yeah. Now, if you were trying to unlock that curse shield, would you take any of those extra Doma defense fights? Because there are eight extra fights you can do there. And I've definitely seen some seeds where you have like some really high experience enemies that you can do uh, for those. Uh, so it really depends on which enemies you have. Up. And that dragon gave a flame shield, but it's also importantly our second dragon down. Okay, so now that we get to play the game, is this a good gal or a bad gal? What commands are we going to see? Please be sword tech. Please be sword tech. That would be the great payoff right now, wouldn't it? Lore's not bad, depending on what he's got. But he's not even going to check. Sticking with the Yeti. Sorry, I said he. I don't know if Bosch Nasty is a... My bad. Yeah, and we see, like, you know, Jesus Frog, you know, having that shield is continually down one character and still is having it rough. That fire dance, however, will get through Tritok. That's always a plus. Down. So is that a gal you would take if you were playing this particular seed? I would look at the lords, at least, but that might require another trip to the airship. But you have to think he's controllable, uh, he can at least use Phoenix Downs elixirs. Oh, I think uh, Bosch Nasty is trying to find some dried meat now. And we do see Jesus Frog eventually going back to the throne and getting that Esper. Good on him. Just took a little detour first. Yeah. Gonna have a vanilla fish fight again on Bosch's side. And we're going to see Zozo on uh, Jesus' side. Oh, okay, so Bosch has shelled out the cash. Yeah, and it was 51k or 52k, so there isn't much of a discount for us stepping between worlds for that one. So you might as well shell it out if you have it. I 
I definitely feel like Bosch just, you know, in general has the advantage at this point. And it is one of those cases where it feels like the curse shield is living up to its name. And I'm not sure. Well, Cyan's not dancing anymore. Oh, did he get it already? Well, no one got healed by the clean sweep, so that's gonna be a no. You must just wanted the character. Okay, I. Uh, going back to my technical difficulties, I do think I might be a couple seconds behind, so I'm trying. I might have to take off again to see if I can get a better, uh, uh, you know, connection going. So give me another second. Wiping out the blue dragon, unfortunately. Hate to see that. This time, Pearl Rod Break made quick work of uh, the Blue Dragon. Here's for Jesus of Pearl. I just hate to part ways with that Pearl Rod. Then again, you never use it, you. Never I don't it. know if we've seen a lot of Y removed going on this seed. Right. Yeah, I mean, we basically have had uh, Locke and Cyan since the beginning, and they're t probably the two that get a lot of stuff removed when Y remove is enabled. What were the rewards from the ghost train? Oh, Celeste. Going to three characters. God, does he have drag meat? Very good. He must be, Jesus must be looking to cash that in right away. There he goes. Hero ring in self Figaro. I'd love to see that. And a pearl rod. That's the murder child. And still sticking with the Yeti. This. This might be a full game commitment. It's 
I think if that Gao had sword tech, I probably would have switched. But, you know, they're deep enough into the game that it might be difficult leveling up one of the newer characters. Yeah, so we got Big Blue, and we already know there's an Economizer on the Jesus of Rob side. That was an early reward, I think possibly from Fiendscape. Yeah, it was from Fiendscape. That's just real nice to pick up around this point. You get two really quick checks. Uh, we can do... Yeah, we can do search the skies, we can check the, the cafe, and then uh, even Daryl's tomb is peekable, so they're all probably really good checks at this point. With all the dragon horns flying around in this, in this scene, jump sets are looking pretty good. so good on jumpers all right in it yep that was phoenix uh so already that sensor's uh paying out i do not remember what the end the result of Esper mountain was If there is another character at Daryl's tomb, that puts Jesus' frog in a much better position now. Although Bosch is not looking for any more characters at this point, he's just trying to find some espers. Do we have a check count for either side? I'll go back to the question on... I feel like, I, feel like I know every smoke on Mirage. Seraphim. <laughs> Very nice. So we got the flying inferno here at the uh, search of skies. And another Gigantos. This one will not grant experience, I believe, since it's on the belt. Okay, so we're not really going to expect to see the 23 skip. And the rate they're currently getting Espers, 13 Espers, is also seems very unlikely. We do know where eight total characters are, because they did have some divergence in that, but it just doesn't feel likely that either of them is going to necessarily go get all those plus one more unless they have a lot of really bad luck finding espers yeah that paid out Unicorn, hidden OP. Yeah, so so far that's two of uh, Setsu's checks that have been, uh, you know, good. 
but we still haven't seen what's at Daryl's tomb yet. Oh no, no, Moogle Charm. Is he looking for solo experience on Saban? This might be a good place to get it. There we go, Bosch found his dried meat. Yeah, so I mean, it is entirely possible we'll see that character skip if Bosch is not able to find two more espers in the time layer. But we do know that Cesar is gating two espers exactly on his two quickest checks. So I do think we're pretty close to Bosch uh, getting the, the unlock then. We do see Bosch putting uh, Setzer in the party. And we've got a gauntlet on him. Maybe Dragonhorn, and that's gonna be a. Definitely had Aura Lance. Setzer. Yeah, we're no longer seeing Yetis on either side, and I think that's just. Um, we are seeing that someone is following uh, Bosch, though. Absolutely. Good for Bosch. And you should definitely go give these two a follow if you haven't already. Just maybe wait till afterwards on Bosch's case. Already I'm following Jesus the Frog. We were in the same group for Ultras League, even though he's a much better runner than I am. Okay, Bosch has done, uh, has gotten the, uh, cafe check. And it's just as... Absolutely. It, like, no, search the skies. You just, like, immediately go do it. And you're going to see a blue bubble on the flying in inferno. Is it inferno? Gosh, I'm so sorry if it's if I'm not. Inferno. It's all good. Uh, yeah, and so Bosch also was able to get uh, Ultima. Definitely a way to, you know, save the trouble of unlocking that curse shield. It, it does unfortunately make Jesus is the Frog's efforts a bit um, too much. Although that Paladin shield still has other benefits. I think he must have given up on the shield. Um, by the time he had it off, he was getting hit by elemental attacks, but not absorbing it by the whole party. Which tells me, you know, Paladin Shield was not equipped. So this is a slightly less common one, uh, Mount Colts. I think it's just a bit more out of the way geographically from the rest of Saban stuff, so it's kind of just doesn't get on people's mental radar as much. But yeah, there is Esper 9, so I think Bosch is good to go. Uh, don't know if you're going to want to try to find a number 9 character to get Skip, but...
going to Vector. Okay. Magitech Factory. This might give Jesus a chance to catch up. Yeah, this feels like a... I don't, I don't know what other checks he might have available, but this feels like a bit of a long one if you're hoping to find Character 9. Because I believe the character check isn't until the very end, right? True, if you do not get the character until you finish Magic Factory. Okay, so there's I would almost feel like if you wanted character 9, Realm's uh, Ozer's Mansion might be a faster check. And, and peekable, because you can just reset if the name on the grave isn't what a name you want to see. I think the other available option might be uh, Serpent Trench. Like this late, I don't think Serpent Trench is quite as valuable as it would have been early on. But it's more just like there is the possibility of that uh, at the end of it finding Character 9. But I, I think if I really wanted to find 9 for the skip, I would have checked Ozer's Mansion first. Uh, just based on what still seems to be available. Maybe Ozer's, maybe Dell's Tomb before Ozer's Mansion, but those would be much higher on the priority list than anything else. And, uh, Bosch Nasty did not peek the mansion before, is that right? I don't think we've seen, um, Daryl's Tomb on either side yet. Like, I don't True. think either of them picked out. No Daryl's Tomb. Which is, as, as you've said, another very fast deck compared to going on currently. And so we know Jesus the Frog will get Celeste and Beyond Seven characters at the end of this, right? That, that's Celeste at the end? Yeah. And, you know, making use of that wire remove to send the ghost to further into the ethereal plane. I mean, Magitech facility makes a bit more sense in that case. Oh, we need to update the tracker. He's on 7-8. Yes. It's probably because his tracker counted Celeste already. Oh, oh. That could be. Yeah, if he's only down one Magicite, we're probably going to see the South Figaro check, and then just have Realm as character 8. That will give him the skip. Yeah. Skip to my loot. Oh, no, at 9. My bad. Okay, just Vargas here at the fake Magimaster spot. Oh, but we are, you know... They are going to go ahead and go for the uh, uh, Magitech facility now. He's as strong as well, yeah. And I think... What was the result from the um, Ifrit uh, Shiva uh, fight? Okay, so that would put Jesus the Frog into uh, unlock, and also you can probably reset out after that, right? Yeah, he's got he's got KT skip unlock. Nasty. Wait, how? Oh, 
That could have been why he did. That could have been why he did uh, magic tech just to get a bunch of checks real quick. If he was out on very high count uh, for checks, then maybe magic tech facility was just a really, you know, was the right call in order to get that skip. He did but two yeah. checks. Um, Bosch Nasty did two. And still, I think, you know, doing uh, Toilet at Mind and the Dragon I think faster than Magitek Factory. You know, this is different to me looking at something than, than me playing it. And these are both better runners than myself. Right. And, and what is uh, the check count for Jesus the Frog right now? I think you could just clear, like, send him in the middle to kill the second, the middle dragon, and get your four dragon bonus, and also get that, uh, get skipped from that instead. You don't have to fight Inferno there. Or whatever is at Inferno. This is a nasty dragon to come across at the Opera House, though. Watch Nasty, it's on his doom encounter. Lock with that Pearl Lance is making short work. Oh yeah, look at those numbers come down. I'm guessing Galaxless are just there to hold the Moodle charm for him. Not down after that second jump. My goodness, he must have so much help. Yeah, we should be up against some pre like either top or very close to the top level stuff. And we're going to check Jidor possibly for some better gear or other stuff going on. It was nice to check for a little bit of gear before you start heading into your final encounters. Now, what kind of gear would you be looking for? Some of my favorites, Circlet, Red Cat. Yeah, anything that, like, um, you know, combos well with what I already got or what I'm trying to do with the character is going to be helpful. Anything that helps me absorb fire damage also, because we do have a spicy chicken at some point. Yeah, it's so sad when you get all the fire resist gear and he just keeps casting shrapnel. Of course, you know, you can always reduce that damage with Force Shield or Force Armor. Okay, it looks like uh, Jesus Frog is going to go for the full right.
Yeah. I, it does take some more time to pull this off, but it is a bit of a safer strategy and is what the trade-off is there. Uh, it's definitely the strategy I use in like playing a lot of the uh, multi-world archipelago seeds in Worlds Clyde is I'll just have my right hand party just go through everything and go up through the center to clear out all that. It's also helpful when you can get skip from doing uh, this strategy too, because maybe you just need to get the dragon or something. There's the ribbon we needed for our uh, Kershaw the, all the way at the uh, uh, validation check chest. Oh, finally. Let's uncurse that thing. We already have Ultima. Yeah, get that last dragon. That's your skip. That's your four dragons. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's going to depend on how much of an advantage that gets, like, if it's going to be enough for it to help him catch up to where Bosch is at. Because the, those ultimate casts are making short work of the statues already. And I think that Thunder Shield, that was a Thunder Shield absorb uh, for Cyan there. Here's the dragon fight, and Goddess is down. Probably the best dragon to see at this point is since you already have Fire 3 and other fun stuff. Although having two guys go down to freeze is less helpful. Oh, absolutely. Like, look at that clock. And that, I think that was Dragon 4 for Jesus of Rock, so does, so that, uh, that's the auto haste, the auto uh, safe, right? Okay, so we know we've seen um, Mute on and we know we've seen X Zone, and we know we have. Uh, I don't think we've gotten a. We ever found a Sword Phantom. Tech user? Oh, I'm sorry, Sword Tech. No, no Sword Tech. But Phantom for Calmness Protection. Well, we, we did get Phantom, but that's yeah. still. That's, you know, Calmness that Protection good. in Air Quotes. If you're lucky, you can pull it off, but if you're unlucky, he could just, like, throw Meteos at you. And there's a Gloom Seek. You can always hope to block it with your Illumina user and have your jumpers in the air. 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes just like having a very high natural dodge is the answer. Yeah, so we saw Bahamut come out, we got jumpers. And this poultry guy, this chicken is just a pool of health. An absolute ocean, but it's a, it's a lot of digging to get through this guy. I do think we are going to have fairly quick Kefka fights, though, just because we know Ultima's on the table. At least one Economizer has been found by one of our runners. Again, we've seen answers to a lot of the more complicated problems that the final Kefka fight throws at. So, it, and they are, they are, again, you know, top runners, so they will know how to make best use of all those tools. Oh, yeah. And, and we're seeing on the Jesus of Frog side uh, exactly what we were... Um, what Nuckley was talking about earlier, taking that full party up the center to just take out the Guardian and the, what we know to be Goddess. Because you have plenty of ice. That does sound like a good time. This, things are looking pretty pretty bleak for uh, Bosch Nasty here on the Poltergeist. Sets are, sets are doing damage, but a thousand, two thousand at a time. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Does he have marble shoes on? That is true. He's got the marble shoes. Well, that's gonna give him uh, the shell to actually reduce the damage from shrapnel. So it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I mean, I get the feeling he'll get through this, but it is going to be much slower than it could have been otherwise. Yeah, it is, a, it is a slog. A lot of times this boss turns out to be a slog. He's just got so much health and defense. Plus you have something like a VK Atma weapon, Ultima. Ice rods. Pearl rods. And Goddess is already down, so we're going to see uh, Jesus Frog probably warp out and go back in uh, using Skipped and take out the other two statues. And I think this is uh, Bosch's last statue, right? Yes, I think so. Poltergeist had Doom Spot. He started with Goddess, did Poltergeist Spot, and then did Doom Spot. So, as you said, this fight, probably going to get through it. And then he'll have Final Kafka. Looks like, okay, yeah, it's Jesus Frog's not even bothering the safety save, just going right back in. I don't think I've ever done that myself, but I'm also terrible at this, so maybe I don't take my advice on that. I don't know how you're gonna peek it. Uh, that's how you're gonna do it. And since you, we know with this flag set what the statues 
what like the statues are always going to be statues so you just have to pick one of them you can use process of elimination to figure out the other yeah that sounds like a good idea um, absolutely i might do it especially if i was feeling like my party was weak it happens a lot so i guess it's going to we're going to see if uh, Jesus can get through this poltergeist fight fairly quickly. That might be how you make up time in this situation. Saban's doing some serious damage. But yeah, I think on Bosch Nasty side, we're going to see a lot of Ultimas. Uh, and a lot of jumping, and then, you know, it's just, you know, your standard good. Here's how you avoid this problem, tech. to see what he's going to go for. Bosh oh, Nasty right away gets hit with the R polarity. Oh man, I hate that. Yeah, and we do see Jesus Frog is through that uh, Poltergeist fight much quicker. But there's still a question of whether that's going to be enough time to get caught up. Yeah, and I believe that too. Yeah. Okay, X Zone takes out long arm. That's not the one you want curl proc on, maybe. Good targeting for that jump though. And the fire three is always nice. There's a, yeah. there's a very... Oh, go ahead. I'm just going to say those 1 MP Ultimas are pretty much how he's going to get through this Doom fight, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, Doom's not going to stand a chance. We, um, I was saying there's this one um, spell in this game, right? It's a very powerful spell. It hits both parties. Now, what do you call that? Um, it's red and does fire and wind damage. You mean Merton? So you say Merton. Did I say it wrong? No, no, there's no right way to say it. I always thought it rhymed with the name Martin. <laughs> well, um, so, you know, this is originally a Japanese game, of course, everyone probably knows that, or many people do. And they make it sound as much as they can, like, melt down. So, the correct way the Japanese players of the game would pronounce it would be something like Meltadome. Because, you know, the way their alphabet works. Or, and of course, when we translated that, we didn't get it, so... In the newer games, or uh, the remakes, they call it Meltdown. Okay. That's but good I always for say, to know. <laughs> But I always say Murtadon because I'm paying tribute to what I think it originally sounded like. Merudon. Anyway, uh, sorry. So we did see Exome take out tools, and we already got the view out on magic. Oh my gosh, three frozen party members. That's less than optimal. Well, you can say that again. Does he have any fire spell on sets here? Fire 2, okay. I'm gonna bounce right back from that then. Oh, forgot to put uh, Boogle Charm on the Yeti. And no running from this fight. But these, these guys will die on their own.
I mean, I guess as far as, like, random enemy encounters you might have on Kefka's Tower, that's probably one of the nicer ones. That's as good as it gets. Or if you have steel, you can try to get a Mega Elixir from the Earth Guard. We got a zombie saving. Sorry, I saw that on the uh, on the stream. Because we're running just a little bit behind, but here's the zombie saving. Gonna cast Ultima on the party, or is it gonna hit the enemy? Okay, good, good, good. It hit the enemy. All right, ten hits are out. Yeah, that's actually great targeting. Hit the zombie. Is he through with uh, Sabin now, the picture? Yep. Because that zombie means it's, I think Sabin's not going to get it be participating in round three. No more blue bubbles from the Saban. Did Saban have any of the things that we might want to have for this particular uh, tier? I think he had an Illumina. But we got Bahamut, so we can mostly cast Bahamut to do some da non elemental damage at least. And hey, we'll see how much this murder child can put out. That flare is. And Jesus is already through tier one, so that's uh, nice. Yeah, not bad damage from Realm either. Yeah, so it's going. I guess it's going to come down to how quickly Jesus the Frog can get through this tier two. If it's because if he can get through it like pretty quickly, he might be able to get a chance to catch up. That imp cast missed. So that's good. Yeah, better luck than uh, Bosch Nasty had. He had to uh, spend a uh, green cherry, I believe, on that. And we're just going to keep throwing Bahamut at the problem. Using Raiden to get rid Yeah. I was saying he used Raiden to get rid of tools there. Yeah, great strategy. I think Raiden has one of the highest uh, conversion rates for insta deaths. Okay, so we're seeing Phantom and Palador come out. Uh, I'm guessing this is a calmness dodge. We'll see. How much jumps do we get? Not enough. You can always recast Calador. Nice dodge on the Meteor. Yeah, that was great. And that's it's probably the best... Film. Yes. Yeah, that's probably the best targeting you're going to hope for is uh, having your replacement character get replaced. Absolutely. What luck for Bosch Nasty. Luck and skill, of course, because of the Palador cast and jump right after. And we know that Jesus Frog has already muted um, magic and has already used Raiden on tools. I'm not sure where the else they are at, but it looks like that might be final dispel for magic. Yep, oh, that was final two. tier two, so I already done tier two. Very close right now. Yeah, and that's nice early damage to just start with put three of your characters in the air. Send them back into the air. 
Is there no one to cast Palador? Palador could have been on one of the other characters. There's the following one, but luckily only two people are going to get hit by it, and one of them is Gao. Yeah, not even bothering to heal Gao up, just using the X potion on uh, Cyan. See, Life 3 is coming out on uh, Chooses the Frog side. Did they have some extra calmness protection? Meanwhile, Kefka's charging Goner on Bosch Nasty. Yeah, uh, Life 3 is probably s safer than a lot of options, but it does take longer to set up. Yeah, that Gao is just going to be a sacrifice if Goner goes off, so we... But this could be enough damage. Yeah. Is that the flash? That's yeah, it. Yeah, all see is through. GG's. 130.03. Got double media cast. What was the official time for Bosch Nessie? Uh, his tracker, or his, um... Do we have the race time? Five split has... Yeah, one second. One thirty oh six. All right, GGs. Uh, and we do see Jesus Frog is at about the same time going, starting the very last tier. So it ended up being very close. Much closer than I would have guessed. Seeing them go into this. I think. Uh, uh, Jesus Frog has his full, his original party, so there's going to be a lot of Ultimas coming out. All nines from Saban. Love to see it. Yeah, unfortunately, Bosch lost his Saban to a zombie strike. and a pearl prop. Seventy-two hundred is not bad. His hand goes down. I think he was going to use a mega elixir. Yeah, and, and I think Cyan. I think Cyan's also his ultimate caster too. That's unfortunate. Uh, unequipping the flame shield just to use that for extra damage. Yeah, get some extra damage out there while he's charging Donner. Same for the Ice Shield. He's done. I guess you didn't need the Ice Shield. Do we have the official race time? GG's. Okay, so just two minute difference. Very close race. Very well done by both runners. And we'll see if we get any of them to join us shortly. But yeah, this was a very well done. There's a lot of early divergence. There's a couple times where they sort of got in sync, I think, in um, like uh, World of Ruin Narsh. I think they were doing some of the same checks at the same time. Uh, but yeah, you could definitely see like there's some difference from like whether like how much attention they paid to that curse shield, uh, where they went uh, as far as their routing goes. Did you see his message? It says, I can't join, you have to pull me in. Yep. And uh, welcome to the chat, Jesus the Frog. GG's. GG. So that was a very close race. Uh, 
what was your thoughts uh, like i guess going into it and uh, like did, did you sort of have a sort of standard strategy you do for poltergeist flag sets that was a very close race uh, uh, definitely poltergeist thoughts, you immediately uh, go get the curse shield and the like, weapon shop item sort of have a probably get four dragons you're gonna do mount zozo uh, uh definitely that's my basic playbook go get the curse shield and the weapon shop item probably get four dragons you're gonna do mount zozo and uh, uh the, does the like uh I, I think there was some question on whether or not you were able to get the shield uncursed or not or if you just found an esper that had ultima on it yeah i abandoned the curse shield and i couldn't keep someone alive at the end of the battle oh i need like every battle in the game and then too many people died then when i found bahamas it had ultima I'm like, you know what forget it right there's ultima i don't need for shield i have like three elemental shields every battle in the game do you, I mean, do you normally commit to the uh, curse like, shield no, no matter what the count is on it? Is that, Ultima, I, I, think you, I, have, like, I thought we thought it was a fairly high count, and so I, we weren't you, sure on our end. Do you it was high, but I've done 18 no curse shield unlock before. Um, but this time it just didn't work out. I only had the one check that had the extra fights, and I didn't have the curse shield on that one because I didn't have the fourth character yet. I needed both my main characters in tomorrow, which we had. Win the fights. So one check and then the only one that's multi part was the server drench, and there was a proper house. But those got access to very late. So, yeah, Chris Shield was not in the cards this time. Was there any big surprises in this particular seat that you weren't expecting or you had to deal with creatively? Not in the cards this time. Oh, yeah, the biggest things were early on, got a monster box, I had Sketch, easy offering. And then that check was, I believe, is either an economizer or also an offering. I got two economizers and two more offerings from dead checks. And then so that was surprising. Was I believe I ended up selling two offerings because I just didn't need them. I didn't need a third one either. And two more offerings from dead checks. So yeah, and that was surprising. I think you ended up with. I think we saw twenty-one checks by the time you had. I didn't need a third one Kept got unlocked so. Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't really planning going for skips. It was 23. When I got the unlock 21, I'm going to buy two dragons. I have really, really terrible defense. Everyone keeps on dying to magic. If I get uh, four dragons, I can get safe in haste and the skip. I wanted to go center and clear one statue first anyway, because I had no confidence I could have three parties viable against those statues. Or at least if I did, it would take a long, long time. So I'd like to go forward, full center path, uh, clear the statue, get the skip, work up, come back in, I can let Seven by himself, frankly. And then the other three can take the other statue. Which uh, worked out. Yeah, and it, it originally felt like you were a bit further behind, but you did manage to make some really good time up. Unfortunately, not uh, enough, but you only ended up uh, behind by two minutes in the end, though. Uh, so it did feel like... Uh, you know, in spite of some of the earlier setbacks, you were making some good time towards the end. They definitely had uh, much faster fights against Poltergeist himself. Uh, in that, uh, I think if uh, Box was stuck trying to use a uh, sensor with jump as the only uh, damage output, whereas you were able to. Uh, I think you had your uh, Luma save in the like 5,000 plus each time. Yeah, yeah. I had seven against against Poltergeist. He was doing five thousand hits, and then Pearl the practice was like seven thousand. So as long as I kept someone alive to res him if he got targeted too hard, I was fine. I was worried about like a, a double flare star taking him down because he had no shield because he had the gauntlet. And it looked like your calmness uh, strategy was like three. Uh, I didn't see how exactly that went out, but it looked like you. Yeah, I had Phantom. I was a bit worried about it. Uh, I was a bit worried about getting the hit too early, so I also cast Life 3. Mostly I wanted Life 3 on 7, but since I, I had the time ready for his ATB to fill, I decided to Life 3 extra people in the meantime, but then Phantom was the plan. Yeah. And I guess uh, on the whole, like how do you feel this seat compares to other uh, 
the poltergeist seeds that you found. It's better than some, worse than some. I've had some poltergeist that were really fast. I got like an hour and 15, or like we got like an hour and five. Um, I've had some where I'm like, I got an hour 49. Uh, so this is right in the middle. And I guess uh, my next question would be, uh, compared to the other two triad flights, how do you feel about uh, poltergeist? I think it's the hardest. Um, I like Doom the most. It's just really fun to swing big swords. And the two character start is really interesting. I also really like auto reflect what that does. And I like the fact that it incentivizes you to kill dragons because of the five dragon auto image. I love killing dragons. So having a reward for killing five of them, fantastic. Uh, Goddess, I think, is fun. Overcast doesn't really hurt. Uh, Overcast Condemn isn't really a problem. And you get massive. MP, massive magic power. So it's just really fun to, to go nuts. I don't know how to play Poltergeist. I can't wrap my head around how to capitalize a wire move. Yeah, that does seem to be like some of the more interesting aspects. It's just like, and unfortunately for this particular seed, you got you started with lock. You had a very early science. So a lot of the sort of advantage that people make out of wire moves are for uh, lock's early checks at the beginning and then you know bounce those over because those yeah. are just not necessary because you already have the exactly yeah. exactly i think uh one of the few other things that you could potentially check is um your ancient cast of figure out engine for you can Spider yes if I, if I needed an extra dragon i would have gone there but i had enough we're also joined by tonight's winner Bosch Nancy. congratulations gg And for you, uh, how was like uh, how many other uh, poltergeist seeds have you ran 